Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut. Today we're taking a look at the Bamboo Ink Pen, specifically uh, with the use case of using it as a Surface Pro uh, pen replacement. This is because mine broke recently and I've been waiting for this one for a little bit uh, of a while to come out now. So I thought I'd do a quick unboxing and review on it after I've used it for a couple of days. So first thing you'll notice is that, and this is kind of sad, but I love it. Um, Again, the packaging is fantastic. It comes from Wacom. These guys are great. Uh, I feel like I'm allowed to nerd out a little bit on that because of my job. But um, I absolutely love Wacom uh, product design. They're fantastic and this is no, um, no different. Uh, inside you get the pen itself. I'll just bring that closer to the camera. Uh, you get the pen itself. You get a nib replacement box with separate size nibs in there and obviously the battery. And on the flip side of that, you get a quick start guide and all of the generic documentation you'd usually expect. So let's crack on. Inside of here, along the bottom, you've got your two documents, quick start guide and all the um, safety sort of information. You may also hear in the background there my cat getting some food from her tower. Sorry about that, I've tried to kick her out, she moaned at me. Um, then we have the bamboo pen itself, which I'll just bring closer to the camera so you can see it. Really well made, really high quality, uh, triangular in shape, which is a bit nice. Um, sort of rounded, but clearly three sides rather than round. That comes with its own little protective bit of plastic, which I'll just remove. Hey, jackpot. And now we'll change from the main motif. Let's have some fun, I'll get the silly string. Perfect, inside of here, you remove the top like you do on the standard um, Surface Pro Pen, and that's where the battery goes. So let's just pop that in, remove that tab there. Um, I believe it goes this way up. And then you can just pop the lid back on, aligning, I'm not sure if you can see it, but aligning the dots on the pen there. Let's get that into focus. And then pushing them together. And voila, there is your pen. Um, it feels really good. It's kind of like a matte finish on it. Um, the one thing I don't like immediately is that there's no eraser, um, just a button that programs the um, single click for uh, loading of OneNote, double click for a screen um, sketch and a long click for, I believe, Bamboo Sketch or Bamboo Note, which I uh, don't have a license for. Okay, so the last thing in the box then is the nib set. And um, this comes again in a little bit of plastic, which I'll just try and remove as quickly as possible. Um, and I like this little case. This is designed really, really well, actually. It's uh, nice and small. You just slide that open like so. And inside there are three tiny nibs, um, hard, soft, and medium to replace the nib that it comes with, which I believe is just a standard medium one. I'll probably immediately swap out for that soft one there. Um, so in terms of in the box, that's pretty much it. So we're gonna jump to the review now after I've used it for a couple of days. So I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so I've had a few days now with the um, bamboo ink pen. Um, I quite enjoy it, specifically with my Surface Pro 4. Um, this is what it's mainly gonna be used for in use case for me. There are a few sort of niggling issues, specifically use case with a Surface that I am gonna highlight. First of all, for fairly obvious reasons in that this is a pen that works with multiple tablets. Uh, there's no actual magnet inside which clips it to the edge of the Surface, um, which isn't nearby, but the standard Surface pens do. Secondly, of course, there's no eraser on the tip. To use the eraser, you have to use this second button on the pen here. There's right click closer to the nib and uh, eraser further away from it. Um, fine, just took a bit of getting used to. The shape of it is really nice, really easy to use, the sort of triangular shape. Um, it is better than the flat side and round shape of the Surface pen. Um, and I also find that it draws a little bit better as well. Um, smoother lines when going slowly. However, it does feel like this has a higher threshold when it comes to initial activation, as in when you draw very lightly, sometimes you don't actually get an ink line, the sort of minimum impact needed, the minimum pressure needed is a touch higher. Again, also fine, but it does leave a little bit to be desired. Um, it is also 40 quid cheaper, which is perhaps where the difference lies. And you can sync it to work with most tablets and I believe iPads and stuff as well. So much more useful than the specific Surface Pro pen. Um, one other thing to note 
is that there are two modes on this. So um, it clearly says in the manual that if you hold down both buttons for two seconds, it flips between the two modes, um, which means if it doesn't work with your tablet, try that before giving up because uh, it didn't work initially with my Surface. I pressed these buttons for two seconds like suggested, and then it did work flawlessly, in fact. Um, another thing to note is that this eraser button does come off very easily. Um, I clipped this to the edge of my surface, chucked it in my bag like usual, uh, and when I got to work it had broken off. I actually had to send off for another one, so there is that. Apart from that, it's been really, really good to me. Um, I've really enjoyed using it. Its quality is obviously it's Wacom quality. They're very expensive tools, but they are very good tools for what you pay. Um, all in all, I would recommend this pen for anyone that has a tablet uh, that they want to use for drawing, taking notes, sketching, that sort of thing. For Surface Pro users, is it better or not than the standard pen that it comes with? It's kind of up to you. Do you want a slightly better drawing experience um, or do you want the niceties of being able to flip the pen over to erase, um, have it clipped to the side? If you're looking for a replacement pen because yours broke and you don't want to pay 100 quid for a new one, you wanted to pay 50 or 60 quid for a new one, pick one up. I'd recommend it if you're in the market for a new stylus pen that works well and works with a lot of different tablets, then this could be for you. Um, I've really got no major complaints with it. So thanks very much for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this and found it useful. If you did, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified of my other videos. Um, if you don't, that's also cool too. There's plenty of other channels out there um, and you can enjoy yourself somewhere else. See ya. Subscribe. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks and tutorials. Thanks for watching.